This is Bob Maloney from my MMA News. I'm in the Northeast Philadelphia for exciting times at Martinez BJJ with Kyle Dawkins. Kyle, man, how are you, brother? Before we talk about, we're going to talk about Kyle's fight. Kyle has a fight coming up on week two of Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. And Martinez BJJ has had one of the best fight teams in the region for a long time. And now this coming week, the opening week, one of their training partners, Bill Algio, is making his, his debut on, on week one. Kyle on week two against Mike Lombardi. Kyle, man, before we get to that, let's talk about your path to get there, man. You're 6-0. and You don't really have a nickname, but I like to call you the Neck Collector. 6-0. and you got three Dars chokes, three rear naked chokes. And you haven't gotten there with just, just jiu-jitsu. You've softened guys up. I, I think you're one of the, I think you're one of the smartest fighters that I've seen on the region. And now you're moving on. I just think that like you're like a thinking man's fighter. I know you take pride in that. You study the game a lot, as we've talked in the past. So you know, how would you explain your style a little bit? Yeah, just as, just as easily as you do. Thinking, thinking type of fighter. Um, I don't like to go in there and get into you know, too many wars. I like to be intelligent about my uh, attacks. And I like to you know, go out there and display uh, control chaos. Well, listen, you've been, fighters are always in a routine. This, this is going to be a little bit different for you. As much as you want to say, you know what, it's just another fight. It's the biggest fight of your life. You, know, you don't have to be bothered with selling tickets, which I'm sure is nice. Yeah. And, and, you, and you're going to travel, you're not going to sleep in your own bed. Have you talked to your coach, Will Martinez, about the things that will be different for this fight than your normal routine? Yeah, he said that uh, fight week will be a little bit slower because I won't be in my hometown, I won't be comfortable. Uh, I'll be in a hotel room, but I've done that for uh, multiple fights that I've fought in New Jersey, so I'm used to it. Yeah. So now, your opponent team won, okay? I know that you're a film studier, so tell me a little bit about how you see this fight. I mean, what's his style, and you know, what challenges does does he bring for you? Um, there's not a lot of footage that I can find on him. Uh, a lot of the footage is like from his first and second professional fight, and then his uh, fights afterwards. Um, but from the two or the three fights that I've seen, his style hasn't changed. Um, we're going in there as if the fight is I'm fighting a guy that's the most ball rounded guy that I can I can compete against. Um, stand up, grappling, anything, I'll be ready for it. Now listen, since this show, you're not guaranteed to get a contract from the UFC if you win. I mean Dana is there, you know, five or six you know, he's giving out a couple contracts point. Do you even think about that? Do you think like you have to go in there for a spectacular finish? I mean you've been finished you finish everybody anyway, you have never won the decision as a pro, so do you even think about that at all, or does that affect your game plan? Um, not really. I mean, I, I, a lot of fighters will look at it as it's putting uh, more pressure to finish and to look good and everything like that. But I go in every fight to to be my best. You know, um, I'm focused on getting the W, and that's what's in front of me. And if the contract comes, so be it. That's just a a, per, a, a little perk to me. Well, I know you worked hard for this man, and I know you got a lot of people pulling for you. Give some love out. I know you have some sponsors and, and any of your sparring partners. Anybody who's you know helped you to get to this point right now? Yeah, man. All my sponsors: uh, Lucky Clouds, Primal Nutrition, uh, Real Talk with Touches Arcasm Podcast. Uh, who else? Angelo Monterazzo, um, A M Fleet Service, uh, the gym. Everybody's been training with me, man. I. I I put a lot of hard work in it, and uh, it's not stopping me. Um, this is a big goal of mine that I've had for a while, and uh, getting this contract is going to mean a lot. But again, it's just the beginning. The moment you open up your mouth, yeah. So your brother's going to get the opportunity to come out there with you, and Will, yeah, yeah. Will, my brother, always. There, everybody that's helped me train, they, they help me train, they help me game plan, they help me get better, and uh, I can't thank anybody enough. Well, this guy right here, he's the hidden assassin. You would run into him on a street or in a bar, and you would think he's like just this, this, this great guy you talk to. But let me tell you something. He's one of the most dangerous fighters you ever see, whether it's standing up or whether it's on the ground. He comes for the finish. That's how they train over here. And it's been a pleasure to see this guy fight. I have pictures on my Facebook page from when he was an amateur winning fights and now he's put his dues in and you know it, it's a great story for guys who have paid the dues and, and, and really worked hard and Kyle Dawkins is one of those guys I will be rooting for him he's, he's destined to do great things and tune in to, you, to uh, ESPN Plus to see him because he's fun to watch goes for finishes and he's a good dude Kyle man can't wait to see you do your thing. Best of luck, man. Thank Can't you, wait, man. Thank you again, MMA News. My MMA News, man. They've been behind me ever since I started. So, thank you.